Good morning. So, this is um, my new hairdo. <laughs> I want to explain how this happened. Um, any, of you, any of you that know me know that I've had long hair for quite some time, and that's how I wear my hair. That's my style. This is not my style. But yesterday, I went into town. Um, I'm in a remote area that's probably about 20 minutes from a little, a little city. And uh, I went into town because every day I've been swimming in the ocean and walking on the beach and my hair got really dry and really sun bleached. So I went into a salon and I asked for a conditioning treatment. And my Spanish isn't that great, but I'm able to communicate fairly reasonably with people now. So I told the guy I wanted a conditioning treatment and he tried to sell me a jar of conditioner. I said, no, I don't want to pay for the jar of conditioner. I just want a conditioning treatment. He wanted me to buy the conditioner. I said, no, I don't have a room in my backpack. I just wanted you to put the conditioning treatment on. I'll pay for the treatment. Anyways, finally we got it settled and he said five soles, which is a great deal. It's just about a buck seventy for a conditioning treatment. So he put conditioner on my hair, then he put a plastic cap on my head and I sat there for ten minutes. And, oh, I should mention that this uh, hairdresser was um, a man with woman's hair <laughs> and women's clothing so <clears throat> call it what you want call her what you want him I don't know anyways I didn't have a problem with that at all but I think that he I think that he really didn't like my hair because after he took the conditioning cap off, cap off he started combing my hair out and combed it up into a ponytail on top of my head then he spun the chair around so I couldn't see what he was doing and he took a pair of scissors and he chopped off the entire ponytail. <laughs> like all my hair was cut in one slice. So I now have very short hair on top. I have, I don't even know what to call this hairdo. I call it a violation. It's similar, I would say, on par to being raped because <laughs> I did not give permission to have my hair cut. I did not ask to have my hair cut. I told him I didn't want it dyed, I didn't want it cut, but he cut my hair. Um, being in a foreign country, being in a country like Peru, I'm not really sure what the law is here. All I know is that I was in a salon and there was like a half a dozen other people in the salon and nobody seemed at all concerned that this man chopped my hair off without my permission. So it was a little bit disturbing to me um, I know we have a problem with rape culture, and I know we have a problem in many countries with um, women being victimized at the hands of men, but this was a total shock to me. Um, I just can't even, I'm still in shock, um, and I'm really not enjoying my new hair. <laughs> it's definitely not what I was looking for, um, but it is in great condition. Anyways, um, so beware 